Yes. So I did a little bit of redecorating on my wall behind me. As you can see, I uh, uh, just saw the background in my last video and I uh, just decided that it was time for the animal posters to come down. Uh, I've had those since I was a uh, young kid and they, they, they've been up on the wall for years and I, I thought it was just time for a change and they, these two can't really see them but they're uh, photographs I took in high school for a, a photography class and they were just in my closet for, for a long time and I think they look better on the wall uh, but but this video is gonna be about friends uh, and yeah, I've been working on building relationships for a while now all right, you guys are my new best friends. You wish, loser. <laughs> I haven't, you know, talked to my old friend from school uh, in in a, a very long time. Uh, I I just kind of communicated with them a little bit on Facebook. Mainly just saying happy birthday when it's their birthday. I think the last time I saw any of my uh, friends was uh, at my sister's high school graduation, uh, which was uh, at at least three years ago over that but uh yeah my sister's high school graduation that was the last time i saw some of my friends in person uh she went to the same high school as me so but now i've been doing uh, uh, or, yeah, I've been doing, uh, some things with, uh, 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 people I met in my autism group and trying to do some more stuff. So far, it's been mainly going to see movies, because then you don't have to talk. <laughs> but it, it's something. And, <coughs> and, uh, my therapist has, uh, said to me that, uh, friendships are like plants. Uh, you have to water plants every so often to keep them alive and you have to reach out to friends every so often to keep the, the friendship alive I guess uh, so uh, that, that's actually what I did Earlier this month, I just texted a gal I, I met at, in my autism group. I uh, just saying, hey, what's up? And, and she texted back, wow, you haven't uh, texted me in over six months. <laughs> so I thought that was funny that she was keeping track. And, and then we just sent a few more texts back enforce uh just mainly about how 
uh, we were and how life was going. But then uh, uh, yesterday, she she just texted me, "Hey, you want to go see a movie this weekend?" So yeah, I, I said yes, and and so now we're gonna go see Ant Man, which I've heard mixed mixed things about. Uh, I'm I am uh, a casual comic book fan so I, I've heard of Batman before but I, I don't really know uh, much about him so uh, uh, so I'll see how good the movie is if it's any good uh, but uh, this isn't the first time We've hung out. Uh, she actually just uh, invited me to hang out at Barnes and Noble, the, the bookstore. This was a uh, a little while ago, last year. Yeah, last year. I think in the the fall, but, uh, yeah, we just kind of just sat and talked a little and walked around the store. That was basically it, <laughs> but, but it was nice, and, you know, and my mom keeps saying that I have to, uh, reciprocate the invite invite her out somewhere but she, yeah yeah to do that maybe not to a movie something different <laughs> I don't know I've, uh, and I've also been seeing movies with this other with this uh, other uh, person from the group. Uh, he's also interested in film and movies, uh, like I am. So we, we've, we've seen, uh, a couple movies together. It, this is really the first time seeing a movie with her. But I think I also need to, uh, reciprocate his invites to <laughs> so I basically gotta keep up my end of the, the friendship but, but it, it just goes to show you what can happen if you just uh, reach out to someone I didn't think this would happen and it's it's a surprise, but hey, um, it's it's what I need. Uh, uh, it's, it's, so until next video, bye. <laughs>